Hello everybody, it's Michael Burhan here with my big ass beard and my beautiful animals. And um, I'm here to basically talk about something that's probably going to be rather unique to you folks back in Western countries. And this is the Tencent Switch. Uh, it's the Chinese version of the Nintendo Switch. And it's going to be quite fun to have a conversation about it and what the difference is between that switch and the common switches. Uh, now, the common switches, the switches that you have in Japan, the EU, the United States, um, and any other kind of Western country out there. And it's also available in Hong Kong. The Chinese switch is only available in China. It was released in December of last year, 2019. And it was part of a deal that was made between Nintendo and Tencent, which is a government company who pretty much runs everything electronic here in the, the China, basically, in mainland China, um, from uh, an app called WeChat that they use for banking purposes, to Tencent Maps, uh, to Tencent Pictures, which a lot of people probably associate a lot more with Disney and Marvel, uh, and also uh, Tencent Gaming, which allows companies like Microsoft, PlayStation, and Nintendo to release their consoles here in China. So let's get to talking about this a little bit and explain what the differences are behind the Tencent Switch and the Nintendo Switch itself. Due to the WeChat function of the Chinese Switch, you can't use it to add people outside of mainland China because the WeChat feature, you can only use it in China itself. You can have versions of WeChat that you can use overseas, but you can't use them to access Chinese services, such as basically paying for things here or using it to access certain um, functions like as the, the Switch Online store. And you can't add people uh, that you normally can do using a friend code. The feature's there, but it keeps making an error happen every time you try to add people. It's annoying as hell. <laughs> and it was one of the main decisions why I decided to change from the Chinese switch and move over to a common switch. Okay, let's talk about the box differences. The Tencent switch box has a free demo uh, that's included with the switch. As you can tell there, it's in Chinese as well. Uh, and it is the version two of the Nintendo Switch. It also has the uh, Tencent logo, which is at the bottom here. Uh, it's nothing completely different in terms of, or unique in terms of what the, the other Switch box has, but the packaging has some kind of uniqueness. And it says that this game is free, it's not. It's just a demo version of the game that you can play like a boss rush or level rush version, uh, which you'd have to pay for the full price to unlock it, which to be honest, uh, if you go to the Nintendo Wii Shop, it's more expensive on the Tencent Wii Shop than it would be if you just purchased the game outright physically. So yeah, that's we'll get into talking about that in a bit. Now, let's go to the normal Nintendo Switch. This one I got from Japan, as you can tell here, it's a Japanese import. And the reason why I purchased a Japanese import version, because I wanted to use my UK account, uh, firstly, and also just the fact that it's cheaper. If I, if I imported one from Europe or the UK or even the United States, uh, I would have been paying a shed ton of import fees. Uh, purchasing it from Asia is probably the best bet. So from either Hong Kong or Japan. So if you're looking for a switch and you're uh, a foreigner like myself, I would suggest trying to get it imported from Japan or Hong Kong. That would be your best bet. Now let's look at the parts side. Each Switch comes with the usual stuff. You have the Nintendo Switch uh, itself. You have the Joy-Cons, the charging dock, uh, the grip, charging cable, the uh, two side grips as well that basically attach so that you can use them like a handheld gamepad, HDMI cable of course as well, and the instructions. The same can be said here for the Chinese variation. Pretty much the same thing, you get the same kit. There is nothing kind of different in terms of the packaging. Both these consoles, if you look at the uh, barcode, are the XK series. What this means is with the XK series versions of consoles, 
they basically only allow you to use the system and you cannot like modify the system itself to do anything other than play games. It's if you try to modify the system, you'll basically end up blocking it. Uh, it's a new revision. It's not a firmware revision that they've done. It's more of a um, kind of console revision to the hardware. There was a, a, a kind of a issue with the NVIDIA chip that allowed people to kind of hack it from the word jump. So once they released the XK series of it, you, the modding community has cannot and also has refused to touch it. So. Let's go a bit more into the console and we'll talk about exactly what's different. As I said previously, both consoles each has uh, the ability to use Joy-Cons. This is the Chinese version and as you can see here, it basically has everything in Chinese. So uh, you cannot change your region and let me show you, it's the third one down. One, two, three. Uh, that's Wi-Fi. Just trying to pin there. There we go. So we have my Switch account in China, which is the only way to actually um, have a Switch account here, or put a Switch account on the system, is you have to use the WeChat feature, which is um, only available via Tencent. So what what this they've practically done to this is they've given it a software mod that only allows you to interface using Tencent's app now can't change this if you go down to the settings there's usually a feature here that says you know change region from Europe to uh, the United States to Japan can't do that here literally no way in hell can you basically move this out of China which leaves problems such as it gives problems to games such as Animal Crossing here Animal Crossing, the only way you can access the language feature is by whatever language the console is set to. This has been a thing since the first initial release on the GameCube. So you can't actually use the language features. So it's stuck in whatever language your console is set to. Uh, you must excuse me, my cats have decided that they wanted to sit on this. so. Uh, it's left it <laughs> in a bit of a state. I'm gonna probably end up getting some wipes on this in a bit and cleaning it. So yeah, um, just leaving that to load for a second and I'll show you as soon as it loads into the game. And I'll show you again. There you go, it's all in Chinese. Pretty much the same game, but you can't basically use, it, it's non-usable to people like me. So there's Tom Nook, he's giving us the announcement. So that's pretty much it. He's talking about the DIY feature there. You can tell because of the words DIY. Um, again, everything else is pretty much similar. It updates the same as a normal Switch. You basically can update the Joy-Cons. You can update the uh, console itself. Uh, and there we go. Let me go and talk to someone. Oh, actually. I have no idea what that says. The other feature on this that you can't use is online play. And the reason why you can't use online play on this console is due to the fact that it has uh, an issue with it. Now I'll show you very, very quickly uh, by going to the Dodo Airlines. And that should let me see where, where the airline is. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I also have some different villages here too. There's one. Oh, look, there's that bunny from the event. Uh, so I have like a dog and a, and a goat. Don't know what the hell their names are. So yeah, so going in there. Tens is probably gonna end up copyright claiming this video as well. Right, so let's go to the dodo and see if we can open it up. So he's telling me about Dodo Airlines. From the word jump, I was able to use Dodo Airlines on uh, my European version. 
This one, not so much. Well, my European account, should I say. Okay, so you guys, he's talking about it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I've agreed. So, okay, where would I like to go? Uh, one second. Right, I'm, the first one's local play, so I don't want to use local play. Uh, I want to go onto online. So this is online. Again, it, it's more me memorizing Animal Crossing than actually being very good at, you know, speaking and listening to Chinese. So he's gone online. It's saving. He's opened the gate, it's going to give it a few seconds and it's probably going to end up, it will end up just halting it. So I can now have people coming in via the online feature, which is weird because usually it doesn't usually work. So it looks like we're having, uh, they're actually starting to use it. Hmm. Right, so let's show you also the eShop feature on here. eShop is exclusive to Tencent. This is not exclusive to Nintendo. This is Tencent's version, only mainland China. They have some very, very unique games on this eShop, including Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart, and Mario Deluxe. That's literally all they've got here, look. So there, there, and there. All games are about 29 uh, bucks each. Two, so don't be scared when it says 299. It's only saying 299 because it's in renminbi, which, uh, or as they call it, Yuan, which is Chinese currency. It's 29 bucks each. You could get them cheaper if you go to the online shop here. There is no other games that you can get. I'm trying to get Pokemon Home on here, so I could basically uh, use Pokemon Home to transfer my Pokemon from Pokemon Sword on this system to Pokemon Sword on my Japanese system. And yep, look, see, nothing. So, and if you wanna purchase any of the games, you can do so using the WeChat feature. So. That's the Chinese Switch console. It's region locked to mainland China. You cannot put it on any other um, system. Uh, it pretty much functions the same as a normal Nintendo Switch. Has its own online functionality. So that's great. So let's put that to one side and let's show you Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. Now, this one is the Japanese Switch. Now, as you can see there, look, the Animal Crossing, it's in Chinese. This is bought from mainland China. This is not uh, a Animal Crossing for any region, but because this one's region free, we can do other stuff with it. So let's do that. Currently, I have Pokemon so Sword on this console. Uh, you have to excuse in the background, that's my animals messing around and misbehaving. Uh, I'm just trying to ignore that at the moment. Okay, so this is my Japanese Switch. Now, I got this Switch uh, recently, fairly recently. So, it's saying that it can't read the card. I probably haven't put the card in properly. Blow on it because, you know, there we go. There we go, it's Animal Crossing. Okay, as you can tell, the, con the um, game itself is region free. So I can literally click on it using my UK account now. And boom. Each game has its own individual code, so you do, uh, anybody who does mod or the pirate games for the console, don't go online. If you go online, that code gets sent to Nintendo servers and it will automatically block your Switch. I am using the proper games. None of these have been purchased in any other manner. And, you know, you'll, you'll be totally fine. There you go, look, Animal Crossing is in English. And mine is 1.1.3a. It's been just been updated recently. Um, 
so it, these do get online updates. But you can only link with people that you're friends with, uh, which is annoying uh, when it comes to Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. So there we go, I'm a bit further ahead on this one. Good morning everyone. Yeah, I've called my island Burland. Uh, if you want to add me, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll give you my friend code. You can come to my island and, and play about. I've got a lot more fruits and veg and stuff on here. Um, pretty much, pretty good. I have my Nintendo Online account. Oh, phone's ringing. Probably because I deposited some stuff uh, a little while ago. So I got 3,000 bells. I'm trying to pay off a million, a million bell mortgage. <laughs> because uh, I've gotten a lot further. Play some pocket there. Right, so you can see here um, that I am a lot further in the game. You've got, uh, I've got my pears and my other fruits. This goes by uh, my UK account. So the switch is set to the United Kingdom. So let's save that. Yeah, save and end. Uh, you can go online with this one, but it's rather short term. It depends how congested China's online system is uh, due to the fact that VPNs uh, do work, but it's still slow as hell when you're trying to like watch YouTube videos or play games like this. So you have to be on at certain points. Uh, sometimes after say 12, 1 a.m., I can access the online function on this very easily. Oh look, turnips are here, so I'm gonna go and do that later on. Um, let's show you exactly what I meant. So on this, as you can say, it says mic switch, and the language is in English, and the region is Europe. These have been removed from the Chinese Tencent version. Uh, so, but pretty much it's the same thing. Everything is the same from the top to bottom. This doesn't have the WeChat feature. I basically, I have Nintendo online, so I can go online with my Switch rather easily. So let's try, let's show you Pokemon Home. Plus I can access certain games like Pokemon Home here um, that I can use to transfer my Pokemon over from uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Luckily enough, my daughter had my save for that on her Switch. So she transferred all my uh, Pokemon from Let's Go into Pokemon Home. So now I'm super OP uh, when playing Pokemon Sword, which is, it, it's kind of evil, but at the same time, it's cool as well. So I have all my Pokemon from that game. Uh, right, let's log it in. It depends. Let's see how well the kind of, uh, the Wi-Fi is working on here. There we go, it's in. So, you should tell me how many deposited Pokemon. I've got 111 deposited. Go to Pokemon Sword. So it works by the save game that's on here. Uh, so connecting. If you want to know what that is, that's my dog and cat messing around. Luigi, calm. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can tell, it works. Uh, this is a game, this feature Pokemon uh, has to be online so as you can tell it's 601 in the morning in the UK and yeah that's pretty much it so uh, let's go to the the end part of this so what does the 10 cent switch have that makes it desirable well the fact that now the Nintendo switch is available in China I can get loads of cool games such as this and this that work on both switches. And because the fact that these games are region free, they are cheaper here. Like for instance, I got Pokemon Sword and Shield together in a double pack with the switch itself for 2,780 2, RMB, which works out at 270 bucks for two games and the switch, which the switch itself over in the UK is around about 250. Animal Crossing. And this game was sought after big time over in the UK and the US to the fact that limited copies were sold and it was sold out directly. I managed to get a copy of this in China because no one was pursuing it. Um, it got released in Chinese stores and I got myself a copy as soon as it was released. You can get stuff like the special edition versions of the Nintendo Switch 
um, literally for a cheaper price and it makes things a lot more easier. Plus also Chinese charger brick, which is great because it means I can use the power supply here to charge my console. It's a lot cheaper in terms of systems and it makes for a better play style. Um, the only thing is the region lock and there is a rumor going around that apparently uh, there are Chinese only games released on the Chinese variation of the Nintendo Switch which include um, hentai games and also dating sims and Chinese style RPGs and stuff that were made by Chinese game studios that would only be playable on this version of the Nintendo Switch. But they are literally the same console. The only thing different from a Chinese Switch and the basically rest of the world is the region lock, that's it. And it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I don't really mind it too much. Um, will I be selling off my Tencent version now I've got like the other version where I can play my EU account? Probably not. I'm probably gonna use it as a version that I can just play on and maybe get people to play two players and stuff like that with me. Um, I will probably start purchasing some of the Chinese only exclusive games as well. Uh, as, as I said, everything is cheap here. I'm Luigi's Mansion I can get for about 22 pounds, the equivalent of 22 quid. Uh, Mario Odyssey for about 20. Um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee I can get with the Pokeball and the game. Uh, brand new for round about the equivalent of 33 pounds. It's ridiculous how cheap these games are. And you can get games that are basically unique and are highly sought after that you could probably get in the UK and the United States for about um, 60 to 70 pounds, even 100 pounds, practically for about 30, 20 or 30 pounds here. And that's the advantage and that's great. And I'm glad um, that, the, that the Chinese version is released just for the fact that I can purely get these games. If you're not, if you don't want to deal with all the Chinese infrastructure, you have an existing US or UK switch account and you want to come over here to teach or do some work in China, my advice to you is get yourself a Japanese Nintendo Switch. Because it's Asian, uh, because it's basically available uh, from here or you can buy one directly in Hong Kong and in conversion it's about about one or two yen difference in uh, terms of Hong Kong dollars to yuan renminbi uh, in China you can purchase your one from Hong Kong they're all region free switches the games are region free they cannot region lock the games which is great um, it's just the console and the fact that you will get some Chinese only games that are only available to be used on this firmware so yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you think? Give me your thoughts. Let me know exactly uh, what you think about it. This isn't Chinese, China versus the rest of the world. I'm not in here, in here talking politics. So uh, leave that outside the door and just converse about the uniqueness of the difference between Chinese tech and tech in the rest of the world. The, the funny thing is, it's only recent, like literally as early as four months ago, that Nintendo managed to strike a deal and get this done. And it's really interesting over the fact that basically the parts are the same. All the parts are manufactured from China anyway. So having it officially released here was a good step. Um, plus it makes fixing these rather easy as well. So, but yeah, I've got my two switches. It's fun. Uh, let me know what you think. And I would love to hear your opinion. This has been Michael Burhan, and finally I get to use my old catchphrase again, letting you guys know that I've got gameplay. Have you?